Okay, today we're solving an organizational problem. Uh, when you've got a document that you want to have in two places, maybe it kind of pertains to both subjects. Um, here's what not to do. Uh, you don't want to save it in both places. Then you might go back and update it in one. But then later your brain is thinking differently. You go back to the other spot and now it's outdated. It's out of sync. That's a problem. You want to have one document saved in one place. But what you can do is you can create a little clue to yourself in the second place to go look at the first. And that's what we're going to do here. We're going to show you how to have one document exist simultaneously in two places, even though it's still just one document. So in this example, the document itself that we're going to have or that we're, we're going to use is this document wants to exist in two folders at once. It's a Word document. Okay. Now up here, we've got the folder location, but we can't create a, a shortcut that takes us just to the folder. We want to have a shortcut that takes us to the exact file. So we need to have the file location as well. So I've selected the file, then I click again, where I can then rename the file. I'm not going to rename it though. I'm instead going to select the entire name and file extension. I hit copy. Then up here, notice, that this is a forward slash. Okay, so I'm going to add another forward slash. Then I'm going to paste the entire document name. And so now we've got a full location. If this were like a, a website, this would be the full URL of that page. Not just the website, but that exact page. Similar concept here. So now we're going to select this entire amount. It tells us the folder that it's in and the document name. We will select that, or copy it, rather. Okay. Now let's go find the other place where we want to put it. Let's say we're going to put it in Documents as well, just as, as an example. Okay. So what I can do is, in a blank area within this uh, screen, I'm going to right-click. I'm going to do a new shortcut. So where do I want the shortcut to go? I'm going to then paste. I want it to go to this original location. So this is the one place where I have this document saved. I hit next. Uh, what name do you want to use? I'd recommend uh, keeping it the same document name. Uh, that way it will look like it's a copy, but it's really not. We hit finish. And what we'll see down here in the bottom is we've got another version of the document, but it's not really the document. It's merely a shortcut. In fact, you can see location says and slash other. And yet, it's as if it exists here too, because if I double click the document, it brings it up immediately. So again, the reason why we might want to do this is this way, whether you look in folder A or folder B, either way, you'll find the document that you're looking for. You can double click, go straight to it, and you don't have to worry about two copies that are getting out of sync with one another. Hopefully that helps. Thank you.